Hello YouTube, it is Elvarl over here. In this video you will find a method how you can remove Google Lock from all Samsung devices running Android 16. We're gonna use a tool called TFM tool. It is a paid tool and if you have only one device you can rent it on this website elvarl.company.site. Here it is, the third one. You can rent it for like two hours. So this is a very good tool. It uh, it, will, it supports a lot of models and Samsung Android 16 is also one of the top features of this tool so this is you can add to bag over here and you can rent it and they will provide you the login details after purchasing you can re reach them on whatsapp here it is the number here it is the email address and you can do the rest with the procedure okay so first of all let me connect the phone and I can show you what exactly I'm doing right now this is a remote job, so the customer is not, uh, uh, I don't have the phone in my hands because the customer is not with me, but I'm, I'm using TeamViewer in order to do the process. So this is a firmware version that they have. It is the S25, the model S256V. Okay, so I'm gonna just go online and I'm gonna check for this model so we can verify if it is on Android 16. And if the device is not running on Android 16, you need to upgrade to Android 16 before using the software. So here it is. As you see over here, it says that Android version, it is 16. So we are good to go in order to use the TFM tool for the process, for the FRP to be completed. Okay, I have already downloaded everything. So it is on my desktop. Let me open the tool. I'm going to log in real fast. Great. So once we are inside the tool on the left, you see an option choose your brand we're gonna select Samsung over here okay here it is Samsung and on the second one select model number click on this one and then use Android 16 FRP configurations MTK we need MTP mode so we don't have to do anything on the phone we just need to plug it in on the okay over here go to operations and then click on reset FRP Android 16. Okay, so the MPP device is already detected. The software is reading info. Like I told you, this is S25. So it is a S256VL, so A25, sorry. And uh, it is running on Android 16, like I told you. And the process of this will take like one to two minutes. I'm doing this, it, it, it failed on the first time and that's why I left it. So it might not be successful on the first try, maybe you need to try two or three times. Usually it is successful on one try, but in my case it was not successful since the first try. I'm doing a second trial right now and the, the first thing that the software does is preparing challenge data. So everything is collected and after that writing challenge data. And it is also doing that one your device might disconnect sometimes make sure that it, it is stable and uh, don't move it around this process might take a few minutes a few seconds two minutes one minute depending on the computer speed in my case it is taking a bit so all you need to do is just wait and on the last step it says unlocking frp okay on the green you see the green okay and factory resetting okay so it should also factory reset itself Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.